So it looks like the Crocs by Salihi Bembry have finally been released in the US, I think on his site. And I think they're going to come out later on other stores sometime tomorrow. I know they're going to come out and end clothing. I think tomorrow I've got a launches, you know, slot I put in for them. So hopefully I'll get a pair, but I'm probably going to doubt, I doubt that. But this is definitely the consequence of, you know, rampant sneaker culture or rampant resale culture, this kind of engineered scarcity that exists in the sneaker industry and just the general disregard for the actual customers has led to us to be in a place where, for whatever reason, a pair of Crocs are reselling at the moment in my size, which is a US 11, for £634. Now, the last sale, of course, was at 484. So I'm sure if you wanted to get a pair under 500, you could. But imagine paying under 500 pounds for a pair of Crocs. Just imagine retail price of these things is anywhere between 50 to 100. I think the retail price for these are about 110 or 80. I forgot the price was on end, but they're going for 600 pound plus on StockX. This, of course, like I said, is a consequence of this horrible horrible um practice that's been put in place at the moment this kind of mind control that brands like nike and obviously their sneakers app has on us in terms of sneakerheads where we are under the impression that somehow we are being done a favor by having the opportunity to put in a raffle to in order to buy a shoe with our hard-earned money right that whole weird mind fuck that goes on that kind of convinces us that they can't make as many shoes as they can to satisfy demand because then it wouldn't be limited but they still would be because not everyone wants to buy these shits anyway no general punter is going to want to buy a pair of silly Bembridge crocs anyway they're only for a specific group of people and if let's say there's about 2,000, let's say there's 2 million sneakers in the world. Let's say there's 10 million sneakers in the world. You're telling me they couldn't satisfy demand by putting out enough of these shoes so that they don't have to be resold for this amount. Again, I have no problem with resellers. My entire um, university time in, yeah, my entire time in university was funded by reselling, right? I was able to queue up at stores like Slamming Kicks, um, Foot Patrol, um, a few other places and buy shoes and then be able to resell them in order for me to kind of pay my way through uni because I had no job because I had no experience on my CV no one to hire me so the only way I could make some money was by reselling shoes I have no problem with reselling shoes but it's the fact that we're in a industry or in a sector where for whatever reason they've convinced us as customers that they can't just make more you can get an iPhone, you can buy a flat screen TV, you can buy a Balenciaga jacket, whatever you want. You can buy those things to your heart's content, even if they're limited. You can end up getting them if you want to. But for some reason, if an MX comes out that's collaborated with a particular kind of brand, a particular store, suddenly, if you're not there at the time when it releases on the sneakers app to put your raffle ticket in or put your entry in to get a raffle ticket, suddenly you can't get them. Or suddenly a store gets them and they backdoor them to somebody else. Like it's just all a nonsense. They've created this toxic environment and already we've seen the consequences of it. We saw that kid recently in America who basically was using his mom's company card who actually works for Nike to fleece more shoes under her discount and then resell them whatever platform he was doing it in. Pure greed. But again, it's born from the conditions that these guys have basically operated in. And these other brands are doing the same thing. New Balance are following suit. Adidas are following suit. They're just making these shoes purposely scarce. Just for what? Because there's a really... Like I said, let's imagine this whole kind of engineered scarcity existed back in the day when I was when I was collecting shoes. That makes more sense because there's not a lot of us anyway, right? And you're legitimately maybe having to... It's maybe costing you more money to make a pair of tier zero Air Force Ones and have a different box for them for friends and family than it would be just to kind of make them general and release them. I get it. But you're servicing this need of this small niche. But then when sneaker culture becomes mainstream and it now becomes like a general thing that most kids do, most kids in colleges probably have resold a shoe before. They probably know what a Yeezy is. They know what collaboration is. They probably read Hypebeast all the time. They're on sneaker kicks. They're on nice kicks. They're on sneaker freaker. They know these platforms. It's like a standard thing now. There's no kid in the world. I don't think on the age of 15 that doesn't know what a limited edition shoe is maybe they don't care about it or don't have the money to buy it but they know that they exist and there's no probably adult i think of over the age of 20 who maybe lives in a metropolitan city that also doesn't know about limited edition shoes maybe they don't want to buy them they can't afford them but they know that they exist that's the case and most people i would assume have some sort of inkling of what a, what a kind of limited edition sneaker looks like what a sneaker they like looks like what something they don't like i mean they have a, they have a kind of a good taste level if that's the case service them Allow them to buy the shoes. Why can't we buy them? Why can I get a Tesla, but I can't get a flipping pair of limited edition Nikes? How does that make any sense? Why is that thing more limited than the other thing? And why is it still limited when everyone wears them? 
it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, and again, it doesn't cheapen it because it's not as if like, never in my life have I seen more than 10 people wear the shoe that I have in one day. Never. No, no even if it's a Yeezy, a 350. I've never seen more than 10 people wear one shoe that I have in one day. Never. Maybe over the span of a week, of course. But even if you live in flipping Bontree, you're never going to go out on a one day wearing your Sakai LD waffles and see 10 people wearing the exact same waffle that you have. Maybe different colorways, but the exact same colorway. It's not going to happen because everyone wears different shit every day. Not everyone is wearing the fucking same sneakers all the time. Especially if you're a sneakerhead, you're probably going to be wearing different shoes every day anyway. So it's very likely, it's very unlikely that you're suddenly going to bump into somebody who's got the same year of the dog Air Force Ones that you have. It doesn't make any sense. So again, they just do this because they just want to create hype. They want to create all this commotion online, get clicks and clicks, whatever it may be. And then at the end of it, look what ends up happening. Not many people actually get a chance to actually wear them because they're so busy, preoccupied, trying to buy them to sell them at these kind of crazy prices. But then we know what's going to happen. Once they release in Europe and they come out, the level, the price, they're probably going to level out and they're probably going to go down anyway. Let's see if, if I refresh the screen. This is a bit earlier on. Let's see if they've kind of decreased have gone up. It's gone up to 499. I've seen the last sale. So one was 484. So now they've gone up to 499. Um, the buy, okay, so it's gone down already right it was already 600 now you can buy a pair already at 390 so it means that as the hours are progressing and now the other stores in europe are going to get them later on sometime today or sometime on the 15th or later on maybe in the 16th the price is definitely going to change from there so it's already changed drastically so now you're going to have a bunch of people who are going to stockpile a pair of these crocs in an effort to try and resell them they're going to be left with them dead stock or they're going to be left with dead stock because no one's going to want them at that exorbitant prices and it's just going to be the same cycle again and again and again. They create this unnecessary nonsense. They really do. And it really grinds my gears. I can't I, I can't describe to you how annoying this whole bullshit is. It's so fucking frustrating. Because again, it doesn't service anybody but their own needs. No one wins from this. No one. No one wins. The sneaker companies don't win. The brand doesn't win. The people that actually want to wear them day to day don't win. The only thing that's good about this sort of stuff, I think, from it. Although it's still the same price, 650 The only thing that's good from this I can see is that if you actually do want them, and you don't mind paying the money, platforms like StockX, like Go and other places, and maybe even eBay, they, they kind of concentrate effort in terms of having a specific, a kind of concentrated sneakers thing. They exist because they're able, you're able if you've got the money to buy them. So if you've got the cash and you don't mind buying them and you've got a bank card, you can into your details and boom it gets shipped to you. That's great because beforehand you had to go on Facebook groups, you had to buy them on forums, message boards and stuff i mean it was a bit of a bit of a dodgy place to be in because you know who knew if the person was going to send it to you or not even if you did an invoice thing and you claimed the money later it was still a bit of a dance but at least now you can actually go through the process and even if you miss them and you're not bothered about waking up in the night and doing that shit you can still get them if you want later on but this is a nonsense bruv this is legitimately a nonsense this is where we're at where you're paying you know resale price on these crocs is what as the same as some designer shoe are you, are you having a laugh you could buy a you could buy a pair of regolins for a pair of these like do you know what i mean like what does this make any sense of maybe you can tell me all the regolins is more valuable it's like no it isn't it's a crock it's a shoe that you're going to add to your rotation it's not going to be the main shoe in your rotation at all and here it is being sold for double the money because they want to create this flipping artificial scarcity in the hopes of doing what again it's not as if you're creating more sneakerheads off the back of this if you're a sneaker you're a sneaker now because you want to be it's not gonna you're not gonna be a sneaker because suddenly now these crocs are limited edition it's not gonna be a vibe for you i'd imagine so anyway but anyway what do i know man i don't know what do i care if they get released from flipping china factory i'll probably just buy them anyway in that way i'm not gonna be that bothered about it anymore because you know they've done kind of occupying my time and occupying my mind bro it's all just nonsense with all these guys absolute nonsense